Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the next edition of the Ghostly Tape, the weekend recap for our Lehigh Valley Phantom. As, unfortunately, our Phantoms lost both games on the weekend to the Wilsbury Scranton Penguins and to the Hershey Bears, but not due to any lack of effort. They actually played really well in Ian LaPerrier's new system. Just met two goaltenders that had other ideas in those weekend games. So let's get right into it. On the weekend... In the first game, they had to go up against Philip Lindbergh. I actually thought Sandstrom played solid. Um, put um, Valtteri uh, Pustin in and just really picked his spot and sniped his and was left open as well, so there wasn't really much Sandstrom could do. The second goal, it was tough to tell if he actually got screened or was able to see it once it actually got through and he had some room. So that second goal he might have been able to have, but Almori did pick his spot pretty well as well as that was assisted by Michael Chaput, and the first one was assisted by their top prospect, Samuel Poulin. But what I liked as a takeaway from that game is the Phantoms only went one for five on the power play, but like the great Bob Roadtruck, the radio announcer for the Phantoms, said they really did look good these first two games on the power play. It was just kind of everything but the finish, and then there was like the lone one power play in the Saturday game and probably two in Sunday's game today that they just did not look good in. But overall, they had their chances. It just was everything but the finish, whether it was on Fukali today or on, obviously, Lindbergh yesterday. And that's why he ended up getting the first star. I mean, they noticed that in Wilkes-Barre. Philip Lindbergh, he had 31 saves on 30 shots, and then the one was a snipe from Forrester when they had a very good move, very good passing and movement on the power play there to get it over to him. Nick, Nicholas Almari got the other one, and then Pustinin got the other one for that game. But what I did like this far as I have seen just from last season, the guy that I cited in the Phantom season preview that I think maybe could be this year's Max Woman that really works his tail off, played from like a D3 school this guy did in Logan Day to now being able to get into the um, AHL and really actually produce and just be a nice steady eighty defenseman is Logan Day. And I think maybe he could be that guy that gets maybe that two-way at the end of the season if he keeps playing the way he's going. So I'll have to see. He started off really good. Adam Glendening, who's, of course, a depth guy for a flyer, has played very well in the first two games. Bob Rotruck has complimented him, and I noticed that from the preseason following along. And now watching on AHL TV, you can just tell he's a very um, veteran down there in the AHL, former AHL All-Star, and a guy that just really controls the game and controls it on both ends of the ice. He's obviously very good in the power play, but also can be used on the PK. He's just a guy that controls the tempo well and really helps a good young defense to be able to be the best they can be, which is, of course, what our Phantoms defense is. So I like the positives that we got. Obviously, in yesterday's game, Ian LaPerry made a good point. Sonia had the one fight, and I love Brandon Sonia for his toughness and grit that he shows obviously, but you want to obviously pick your spots, like Ian LaPerrier said, where going up against somebody that's way bigger than you, you want to be able to pick your spots so you can be healthy and you can be a guy Lappy puts out, because Lappy wants to play with that good two-way game, but more that physical, aggressive style, and that's why he likes the guys like Saulnier, and he's going to be playing the guys like Saulnier, probably more than somebody like Scott Gordon did, because he obviously is a player that was like that, he put his body on the line, he didn't care, he was always going to go the extra mile when it came to physical play, and that's exactly what Brendan Sonia is, and that's also, of course, when it comes to the Phantoms, um, what Hayden Hodgson is, who they put in today and took out Tumala for, which made sense to me, because the Hershey Bears, as we move on to today's game, are a team that play very physical, bring that spunk to you, and bring it from the get-go, which is exactly what they did. They got off to a great start in this game. Really bombarded Ursan early in his pro debut over here in North America, by the way. I think he looked fine as well. He actually looked good, made some very key saves. Otherwise, this could have been, obviously, we had the unallowed goal. Thank God for the Hershey Bears at the end of the one period in the second there. But he made some big saves and actually stepped up for the Phantom. It's just, unfortunately, Zach Fukale had other ideas and was an absolute monster. As just like Lindbergh, he got the first star of this game. Then Axel Johnson Fialbi had an assist and a goal. And then Mike Vecchioni, the former Phantom that was stellar when he had his time here, was uh, able to take advantage and get a rebound goal in front that Ursan couldn't do much on. The other goal was unfortunate, kind of like the heart goal, bounced off the board row where he was able to come in front. It didn't bounce off of him, but Fialbi was able to get a backhand and go through about that much space probably that was left from the, the um, what's it called, the post to um, 
Ersan's pat. But I thought Samuel Ersan played well as his first pro debut, and I think all things considered, he did play well. It's just Zach Fukoli has emerged from being an ECHL goaltender, from being a top prospect one day with Montreal, to now being an ECHL guy, to then coming in the AHL last year to be a star last year, that if they had an all-star game, he definitely would have been one. And then now being still starting really good this year. So for the, him and for the Hershey Bears, it's obviously good to see that before a fan of just not as they get beat by him again, as they have another big goalie showing both games this weekend. So I think there was a lot of positives to take away from this weekend. The Phantoms played with a lot of pace. Uh, we actually ended up out shooting the Bears today, 24 to 23. And I like the more shooting mentality and the more aggressive mentality the Phantoms showed with Ian LaPeria. That's why I said I think they put in Hodgson because he's somebody that obviously played with just that fighting mentality. He's been in the ECHL lately. He hasn't played in a couple years in the AHL. But Ian LaPeria, like I said, values that a lot. So I'm not surprised that they actually gave him a shot and gave him a game. And I didn't think he played poorly. He did step in there to a couple of scrums. And he was right there to defend anybody when it came to um, any scrums that there was happening on there. Plus, he did get a shot on goal. And also, finally, Jerry Mahieu was able to get his goal today when he played a hell of a first two games this weekend. I would say he was a star of the weekend when it comes to our Lehigh Valley Phantoms, as well as Adam Glendening, and as well as also, I would say, um, Adam, as well as Adam Glendening, and as well as... Um, Logan Day, excuse me, as I had a brain cramp right there, because Logan Day has continued to just be successful. He came into the AHL for our team last year and was very successful in his first season with the Phantom, and now is going to be continuing success in this season with the Phantom. So I would say those are the Phantom stars of the first weekend, where Morgan Frost, actually, he needs to bring it more. That's why he got benched in this game and wasn't put out there in the 6-on-3 situation, because like Ian LaPerriere said, after the game, he's one of his best players. He's one of his leaders. You need to see max effort from him. So I did like what I saw from those guys, Glenn Denning, Logan Day, <clears throat> and I think they're going to continue to have that key success. Also, Tyson Forster, I will point out as well, other than Jerry Mahew, also was moving around well and playing really well on offense. So those were the guys that really shined through and really played well, even in losing efforts, plus Cam York, who stepped up with an assist today, plus had an assist yesterday. His assist today was a beauty to Jerry McHugh. So I think he's going to continue to progress and probably be a guy that would be up with the Flyers sooner rather than later, especially if Travis Sanheim keeps playing the way he's playing. But that's a guy that would probably be up sooner rather than later. So I think they showed good progress. It's a new system. It's a new coach. It's going to take a little bit of time to adjust. He brought in some new veterans like the Jerry McHugh's and the Adam Glendennings. You have Hodgson on this team, who is a new player, of course. So you're going to have to integrate that. It's going to take some time, but I think they played well in the system. They just got to capitalize more on the power play and not have everything but the finish, but actually get a finishing goal on a couple of those power plays. And then you're set. If you keep playing at this pace, you keep playing at this tempo, I completely agree with Bob Rotruck's sentiment. They outplayed both of these teams in the first two games. They just got beat by two goaltenders, Lindbergh in his debut, and Foucault, who's one of the AHL's best now, it seems, who's a hell of a goaltender, and then Ursan and Sandstrom both played fine. So I think you just got to keep building off of that play, and I will, of course, do a preview. The Phantoms have off until Saturday, so it'll be a while before I do a preview. Maybe I'll throw some player profiles in there during the week while we're waiting for the game, obviously, to come on Saturday. But this has been the Lehigh Valley Phantoms Weekend Reaction or Ghostly Take. I hope you all have enjoyed the weekend games. Of course, it's hard to enjoy losses, but there was still some good progress moving toward showing what new Ian LaPerriere's system is and being able to implement it. I think now it's just about finding the ways to put the finishing touches and get those goals rather than just getting the ample chances. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. If you enjoy the content, subscribe below or on the easy-to-use widget up above. Go Phantoms. Let's come back and get a win this weekend. Peace out.